Our body is an amazing machine. To relate with the environment, God has given us the power of the sensory organs. Humans have the ability to survive and protect themselves from danger due to the guidance of sensory organs. Except for the sense of touch, all our senses are located on our head. The power to see, the beauty of the earth, the sense of light, to hear with our ears, to smell the wonderful aromas around, and taste mouth-watering food. Hi there children and welcome to ITTV. Thank you for watching ITTV. Well, in the previous lessons, you have learned about three main living processes in the human, which is how humans breathe, how we excrete, and how we defecate. Well, today's lesson is Human Respond to Stimuli. Children, humans respond to external stimuli to protect them from danger and for survival. Stimuli, that's a new word for you. Well, what does a stimuli or a stimulus mean? Let's have a look at the graphic. Stimulus is an external factor which can be detected by our sensory organs. Well, a stimulus through the nerve pattern reaches our brains and must be interpreted and sensed by our brains so that the sense that you're feeling becomes real. Well, the sensory system gives us to realize about pleasurable senses like the aromas of the food that you smell and the taste of the food that you eat, warning signs like it gives you a heads up for you to run off while your mom is thumping over the stairs to come and scold you, and the sense of warning chemical smells. Well, now I'm sure you know what is stimulus and how does it function. Well, the combination of the stimulus makes our sensory organs and the sensory system a very complex ones. Now, if you're wondering what are all these sensory organs, look at yourself, children. Well, start from the head till the toe. We have got five main sensory organs. The first one being the eyes. I'm sure you have a beautiful pair of eyes there. Next are the ears. Humans have a pair of ears. Next, the sensory organ of taste, which is the tongue, of course, followed by the sensory organ of smell, which is your nose. Well, these four main sensory organs are mainly located on your head. The last sensory organ is located all over your body. Yes, students, you're right. It is the skin, of course. We have got five different sensory organs. Well, God made us that way so that each sensory organs have got their own function. So we shall start from the head on and we shall start with the pair of eyes we have. Let's look, have a look at the graphic. Humans have a pair of eyes. Our eyes comes in different sizes, shapes and colors. Have a look at the picture. You can see different colors of eyes, different shapes, and different sizes. Well, look at your mother and father at home and all the rest of your family members and see what is the color of their eyes, what is the shape and the size of their eyes. Does your eye look like theirs? Look in the mirror and see what is the color of your eyes. Humans' eyes are the organ of sight. They respond to the light in the environment. So children, when you're reading in a dark room, make sure you own the lights as your eyes will only work a function properly in a little room. Human eyes have lens. These lens adjust itself in order to view far away and near object. How do we see? Children, how do we see? How do we see a person standing in front of us? How do we see a person on the left and the right of us? So, what does the eye actually do? And how does your brain interpret it and see it straight? Shall we see? Rays of light pass through the pupil in your eye, which is like a small hole. Behind each pupil is a lens, 
which bends light so that it shines on the area of the back of your eyes called retina. Now children, remember these words pupil, lens and retina. This makes an upside down picture of what you are seeing. So children, if you are now looking at your dog or your mom or any other pets that you have, you are actually seeing an upside down picture of them. So, how do you see straight? The nerve in your eyes send this information to your brain which lets you see it the right way. So, thanks to your brain, you get to see everything in this world standing up straight and not upside down. Well, children, humans have got noses, don't they? No, sorry, nose, no, not noses. Nose, don't they? Well, this nose comes in different sizes and shape. Well, how do you smell all those wonderful cookings of your mother when you rush back home from school? Well, let's see. Smells consist of small particles called odorants. These enter your nose and are detected by hairs called cilia. Children, the hairs in your nose is called cilia, remember, and all the particles around you which you smell are called odorants. Nerve signals are sent via your hair to your brain which recognizes the smell. Remember children, when we are talking about the eyes and how do we see, the brains are the one who interpret the image in the correct way. In this nose, in all our noses, the brain interprets the smell that you sense and recognizes the smell. Children, humans have got a pair of ears. What is the function of the ear? The ear is an auditory organ. Well, the ear also helps you to maintain the body's equilibrium. Can you name me two organs which are good friends? Hmm. The ear and the nose, of course. If you don't trust me, children, when you catch a flu, you get a blocked nose. What happens to your ear? Your ear gets blocked as well because the ear and the nose are thick friends. They are connected to each another. So, what does the word equilibrium mean in the terms of the ears? So, when you're walking in a straight line, you do not sway right or left. You walk straight. So, this is equilibrium, which means maintaining your body's stability. So, thanks to the ear, you walk in a stable way. Children, I hope you do know what does the ear do and what kind of sense of hearing it provides for human. Chocolates, ice creams, the burgers, all the delicious food that you love, thanks to your sense of taste and the organ which is the tongue, you can taste all of them. Well, our tongue has got sensory cells. These sensory cells are called the taste bud. Stop, have a look in the mirror. Put out your tongue and see the small bumps on them. Well, these are the taste buds. How many taste buds do humans have? Stop turning to ask to your mom. Let's have a look at the graphic. The human tongue can detect four main types of taste. Sweet, sour, bitter, and last but not least, salty. So, human have got four types of taste buds, which is sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Now, as a baby and when we are growing, your first few words would have been mama, papa, dada, or something like that. Well, which organ helps you form these words? The thumb, of course. The thumb is essential for speech. If you do not believe me, try rolling your thumb and try talking to your friends. I am sure you would be it would be impossible for you to do so. Well, lastly, we shall see the last sensory organ, which is the skin. Human body is covered with skin. Look at your skin. The skin differs from a person to another. Different humans have got different color of skin. Why is that so? 
Well, children, have you heard of the word melanin? Well, skin has got many pigments called melanin. These melanin pigments are the ones that give color to your skin. Well, if you are dark colored, then you have got many pigments of melanin. If you are fair, then you have lesser pigments of melanin. What is the function of the skin for the humans? Skin, they protect you, don't they? From what? From the sun's harmful rays. It keeps all your body fluids in and dangerous infections out. Well, your skin has the function like the rain coat actually. The rain coat prevents you from getting wet. Do you have a rain coat? Do you bring them to school? Well, the same goes to the skin. It protects you. When you take your bath, does the water enter the skin? No, of course. You would have to wipe it away. So, how does your skin sense different kinds of signals through the nerve pathway, of course? What kinds of signals and sensitivity can your skin sense? Let's see. Your skin is sensitive to touch, pressure, warm, and cold. For example, when you're touching a hot pan, what happens? You would remove your hand immediately, wouldn't you? Well, this is because the nerve ending which responds to the hotness of the pan. So children, when you run back home after school, can you smell what your mom is cooking? If you're able to detect it, then you have a talented nose. Shall we see the experiment to see do you really have a talented nose? The goal of the experiment would be to find out how humans respond to different kinds of smell. The constant variable being the amount of product given to you to smell. The manipulated variable is the type of product given to smell. The responding variable is the ability to tell the different types of smell. Now, what are the materials needed for this experiment? Lemon extract. Mmm, coffee powder, perfume, a piece of cloth to blindfold the person. What are the methods for this experiment? It's actually a fun activity to do. You should try it at home as well. Blindfold a friend, tell your friend you are going to present a few different smells to them and ask them to guess the product correctly. Firstly, let them smell some lemon extract. Next, let them smell the coffee powder. Lastly, let them smell the perfume. Check if they are able to answer all correctly. Well, what would be the observation in this experiment? You would see that many of your friends would be able to detect the sense and the smell of the product which was given to them the lemon extract, the coffee powder, and the perfume. So, as a conclusion, we can conclude that humans can detect different sense of smell. Now, children, don't forget to try this at home. Humans have five main sensory organs. Now, I am sure you can answer them by yourself at home. The eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue, and skin. Now to see if you still remember what I've taught you from the beginning of the lesson, let's see some exercises. Question 1. Mr. Sam touches a hot pan and spontaneously withdraws his hand from it. Which of the sensory organ below allows him to carry out this act? Children, we just saw a graphic regarding holding the hot pan. Do you still remember what is the correct answer? A. Eyes B. Skin C. Ears and D. Nose No, don't think too much. The correct answer is B. Skin Skin is sensitive to warmth, pressure, touch, cold, 
and pain. So Mr. Sam removes his hand from the hot pan once he touches it thanks to the nerves in his skin. Shall we see the second question? Question 2. Which type of taste can your tongue detect? Hmm, I'll give you a clue, children. There's four types of taste. Hmm, the correct answer is sweet, sour, bitter and salty. Now, whatever food you eat is a mixture of all this kind of taste. Question 3. The organ in the picture has the sense of... Now, before we continue, what organ is this? Have a look in the mirror and see. It's the nose, of course, which comes in different sizes and shape. What size is your nose? Well, A. Smell B. Sight C. Hearing and D. Touch The correct answer is smell. The nose have got the sense of smell. Let's look at the last question. Other than hearing, what is another function of the ear? A. See an object B. To form words C. To smell D. To maintain the equilibrium of the body The word equilibrium means stability. Do you remember? To see an object, hmm, you see with your eyes, don't you? To smell, you smell with your nose. What's the correct answer, children? To maintain the equilibrium of the body, of course. Well, there are a few words from the beginning of the lesson till now which was quite difficult to understand. Well, let's see what they mean. Let's see the vocabulary of the day. Stimuli, rangsangan, stimuli children. The beginning of the lesson, we saw in the graphic that a stimuli is an external factor which your sensory organs uh, add to. Reaction, gerak balas. Equilibrium, kestabilan. Sense organ, organ deria. I really do hope that so far you know all the sensory organs that we have been talking about familiarly. Well, let's see the trivia for the day, shall we? So children, what makes your mouth water when you see delicious food? Let's have a look. Chocolate cakes, chocolates and see the saliva drooping away from the baby's mouth. So what makes it happen? Saliva is the fluid made by glands in your mouth. It mixes with the food and together with your feet, mashes the food up and makes it easy to swallow. When you smell something you know delicious, your brain recognizes the smell and sends signal to your mouth to make more saliva. Do you love chocolates? And does your mouth water whenever you see those delicious chocolates? those cakes and those tasty ice creams. Well, I hope you understood where does the saliva come from. Well, children, we have come to the end of the program. Before I end, I would like to do a quick recap on what we learned today. Humans have got how many children? Five sensory organs. The eyes have got the sense of sight. The nose have got the powerful sense of smell. The ear have got the sense of hearing. The fang makes you taste delicious food and have got the sense of taste. And the skin is the sense of touch. Well, thank you for watching ITTV and see you again in our next lesson. Bye bye children. Bye.